Welcome back guys. This uh, video is going to be about addressing a problem that I kept running into and you'll see there um, is basically I keep chipping all of my um, end mills and I'm not sure or I wasn't sure what was going on there but then I watched a video that John Grimsmo put out about filtering the coolant. So I decided to see if there was uh, chips getting into my coolant flow. So I put this uh, fine mesh screen bag over one of the nozzles there. That's um, called a painter's screen bag or something. Get it from Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, I like it because it's nylon, but it's very fine mesh. Uh, so basically, I let that run for a while. And I just wanted to see what I would collect just out of curiosity to see if filtering the coolant would, would be something that would be worth investing in. So I just let that run. And here it is about 10 minutes later. And it looks like there is some stuff trapped in there, but let's see what it is. So it looks like we got a lot of little chips, um, one pretty good sized chip, and some other just crud. I think some of that crud may be sawdust from when I uh, cut some wood on um, That chip right there is the largest one in there, but I could see how these could, any one of these could do some serious damage if it got pinned up against the pin between the cutting fluid and the uh, surface of the work. So, um, and this is, I so I took the coolant tank out and this was all in preparation to install a, a filter just like John Grimsmo detailed in his video. And while I was at it I also wanted to switch coolants because that green that you see there is Cool Mist 77. And um, it, it works okay, I guess. Uh, I don't really have any reference to anything else because this is all I've used. Um, and the primary purpose that I'm using it for is just to clear chips away. And in that respect, it, it does fine. Um, but it kind of stinks over time, and you can see that tramp oil, and the, those are probably some kind of like bacteria puddles growing on the top kind of stinks after a while. So here's just a bunch of images. After I dumped up that coolant, this is what's in the bottom of the tank. And this is about one year's worth of accumulated chips that have made it past my screens. And certainly the pump is sucking those up and spitting them right back out at the tools. So while I had the thing apart, I drilled a hole in the in the side there and I'm installing a coolant level sight gauge and a drain valve and so I just picked up all these parts from like Ace Hardware and Lowe's and I found that if you use quarter inch parts quarter inch nuts there one of those little screens that go on your faucet fits right over the nut it's got that big thick rubber o-ring sort of gasket around it it'll fit right on there and sit up flush so um, I was really happy to find that lucky coincidence. Um, so I put that all together, I tightened it down, and I siliconed all around that, that washer and all around the nut and everything. So it won't leak. And then, then I put a, 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 a ball valve for the drain. And let's see, I filled it up with uh, tap water after cleaning the whole system out, cleaning the tank out, scrubbing it and everything, getting all the chips out and uh, I flushed it with tap water and then I also used the tap water to uh, calibrate my sight gauge there and there it was with actual coolant in it. Then I made a few changes here to the um, the screen. Um, I used this 
flour sifter I got from Kroger and uh, that's been working great but but recently I've um, decided to use one of those fine mesh painter screens below it as another layer of filtration so I just drove some self-tapping screws around the circumference of it and then you can just hook one of those elastic uh, bags over the screws and it'll hold it on there I also uh, installed that bar going across the uh, chip tray just to help hold it better and also kind of serve as a handle. <clears throat> so here it is after I got everything cleaned up. I filled it with tap water to calibrate the sight gauge. And I am uh, about to drain it to uh, kind of test the drain valve and flush all the tap water back out. Because I'm also switching coolant to um, Qualicam Extreme Cut 251C, uh, essentially on Brad Martin's recommendation from Tactical Keychain. Uh, he uses Extreme Cut 291, and after talking to one of their sales reps, they um, recommended 251C for me, since 291 is, is primarily geared towards cutting titanium. And 251C is, is primarily for cutting heat-treated alloy steel, which is mostly what I cut. All right, folks. Today is the day we're switching coolant from this Cool Mist 77 to that Qualichem Extreme Cut 251C. So let's open it up. See what it smells like first. It really smells sort of like latex paint. Not bad. It is kind of brown and viscous. Let me zoom in on the info so you can... Let me change camera angles here. Okay, from this point on, the video might not be as um, sequential as I hoped because when I was recording this, apparently I got the record and the stop record backwards. So everything you see here is stuff that I wanted to cut out, and I didn't record any of the stuff that I wanted to keep in. So, yeah, complete idiot. But Anyway, I'm using um, distilled water. I'm, I mix it up at three in three gallons at a time because my tank holds six gallons. Um, I measured out the appropriate amount to make it 10%, and uh, this is the second three gallon mix there. Then I stir it with a paint stir until it's nice and. Um, until the emulsion is nice and uniform. Okay, here's my coolant tank with six gallons in it. Um, my sight gauge is, appears to be working. I took when I cleaned it when I cleaned the tank out. I took the pump off too and cleaned out the bottom because it had a lot of stuff kind of stuck in the bottom where it sucks up the fluid. I'm putting in my uh, chip tray with my Super Duper Kroger brand uh, flour sifter. I don't know if it's Kroger brand, but it's it was like four dollars or something. Uh, enhance with some painter screen. I also replaced some of the hoses there just because I need a longer piece. 
Uh, and this is my coolant level sight gauge that I calibrated with water. It's right at six gallons now. And here is the uh, whole house filter um, set up almost exactly like John Grimsmo from Grimsmo Knives. Unfortunately, again, I wasn't recording when I turned it on, um, but it was uh, the input was a solid 7.5 psi, and the output was just a hair below that, maybe 7.4. And that's with uh, the, one of the 350 micron filters that comes with it. Jason at Qualichem said that the 251C can be filtered all the way down to uh, 20 micron but you shouldn't filter below that because it could strip the oil um, and 50 micron was just about perfect. It's about 9.25%. I'm going to add a little bit more oil. Once I got it in the machine and flowing, I wanted to um, check the oil, or sorry, check the concentration again with the refractometer to make sure it's right because things can change off of, you know, the theoretical dilution. Okay, it's about nine and a half percent now. A little bit more. Some of you guys who haven't seen me in a while will notice that big ass beard I now have on my face. Awesome. So again, another huge shout out to Brad Martin at Tactical Keychains and John Grimsmo at Grimsmo Knives. Alright, it's just shy of 10%, so that's what I'm going with. <laughs> 